didn't see the hail that we did around Mobile, the beaches got their fair share of thunderstorms today as well. Oh yeah, much of the rain cleared out by this afternoon, but fire crews were on standby just in case things got bad. Fox News Baldwin County reporter Will Robinson Smith was there while they were getting ready for more bad weather, and then others, well, they got to enjoy the benefits. Except for the pitter-patter of the rain this morning, the sands along Baldwin County were fairly quiet. The Pier at Gulf State Park, which normally sees a number of fishermen, was instead just full of wet birds. Over at the Fire Station 1 in Gulf Shores, the crew made sure they had everything in order just in case they were called out. Lieutenant Kevin Tolbert says he and the city have made a number of improvements since the historic flooding of April. We have, have an uh, idea of the areas that are more likely to flood, so the the ditches have been uh, prepared for those, widened, uh, more drainage areas have been put in. But this morning's stormy weather wasn't bad news for everyone. For some, it just meant some choice waves. A dry spell around noon brought out a number of surfers at Cotton Bayou Beach and Orange Beach who were there catching some waves that were caused by the storm. Yeah, exactly. Just get in before the rain comes back, the lightning, and just have some fun. Others, like Ben Breland, were out on the water all day, rain and shine. Well, typically in the morning, the surf is always better, but I mean, it was a little more choppy this morning with the storm and stuff, but now it's like chilling out. He says that as good as today has been, tomorrow will be the real show. Well, I haven't surfed in a few months because I've been on basic training for the Army, but I mean, tomorrow's going to be a big day, so everyone's just warming up for tomorrow. At the beach, Will Robinson Smith, Fox 10 News. If you do head down to the beach tomorrow, be aware it'll likely be another red flag day, so watch out for the rip currents.